Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This is Evangelist Brenda Thompson coming to you today. Today I greet you in the marvelous name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The title of my message today is The Spiritual Man. My message is taken from Philippians chapter 4 verse 8. And my reference is Romans chapter 8 verse 6 to 10. And Ephesians chapter 4 verse 25. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, Whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. Please look with me at Romans chapter 8. look with me at verse 6. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace, because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So then they that are in the flesh he are not pleased God, but he are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so be that the spirit of God dwell in you. Now if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is not of you. And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin. But the spirit is life because of righteousness. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 25. Wherefore putting away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor. For we are members one of another. I come to you today in no other name than in Jesus' mighty name. I pray in the name of Jesus that his message will be a blessing to every hearer in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Today I would like to share with you my audience the eight principles of the spiritual mind or having the mind of Christ. I believe that Philippians chapter 4 was the last letter that Paul wrote to the church at Philippi. Our meditation or focus or our thought should be one of maturity. And so the apostle was ensuring that he left Christian values in the mind of every believer, and these are they. Number one, whatsoever things are true, it means it truth. And it could be found in Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 25. Wherefore, putting away lying, speaking every man truth with his neighbor, 
for we are members of one another. second one is honesty. Whatsoever things are honest, you can find a reference in 2 Corinthians chapter 8 and verse 21. Providing for honest of things, not only in the sight of the Lord, but also in the sight of men or believers. The third one is whatsoever things are just. It speaks about justice. And that can be found in Deuteronomy chapter 16 and verse 20. That which is all together, follow that thou mayest live and inherit the land. Which the Lord thy God giveth thee. The fourth principle speaks about purity. It means holy or holiness. Whatsoever things are pure, our thoughts should be on pure things and not anything that is impure. The fifth principle is loveliness. Whatsoever things are lovely, we must think lovely thoughts. And that can be found in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4 to 7. The sixth principle is goodness. Whatsoever are of a good report, we must think on these things. The second prince, seventh principle is virtue. If there be any virtue, if there be any morality or moral character, we must think on these things. And the eighth principle is praiseworthiness. If there be any praise, we must think on these things. Our thoughts must be on being a praiseworthy Christian. We must praise each other. And the ninth principle is our thoughts must be on meditation. We must think. We must meditate on these things. Today, in my conclusion, I would like to pray a prayer on medi of meditation for peace. If there is any turmoil in your life, a prayer of peace through meditation. Whatever situation and circumstance you're going through, it can be changed with your thoughts. We need to continue in the spiritual mind. And that mind is having the mind of Jesus. God, I pray a prayer of mercy. A prayer for grace. A prayer for peace. A prayer for hope. A prayer of faith. A prayer of faith. And truth and courage and spiritual understanding today. Have mercy upon all those who need mercy today. Those who are going through their trials and tribulation today. A prayer, a prayer of peace and mercy and courage and hope today. For all those who need prayer today. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.